Tonight we're really thrilled that Premier Redford decided to arrange a Rubik's Cube to include the Enbridge Famous Five Speaker Series. And we were thrilled with her talk, which dealt with women in leadership in the community. Well, good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for letting me be here with you today. Nelda, it's wonderful to be able to join you, and I do have to say I love coming to Fort McMurray. And uh, to be able to be here and to see the sorts of people that work every day in business in the community and the special partnerships that are built in this community speak to the success of our province and, and this community. And I have to thank Enbridge so much for sponsoring this famous five series. I'm very proud to be an Albertan. I am very proud of the role that Enbridge plays in Alberta. And I'm very proud of the fact that even though the famous five are from Alberta, essentially, that this is a series and a reputation that really crosses the whole country. Because it truly is exceptional that we as Albertans are able to lay claim to such incredibly, profoundly strong women. Women that built a legacy for this province. They fought to enlarge a society where if you were born into difficult circumstances at the beginning, it wasn't always possible to get ahead. And as we know, most women were born into those difficult circumstances. It's important for us always, as it was for them, to know that we have to support people's dreams and aspirations, and that there are people that live in our community, young girls, new women to our community, that are understanding what our Canadian values are. And I will say that uh, I thank you for your indulgence tonight, because once I finish here, the reason I'm flying back to Edmonton tonight is to have dinner with my friend Jean Charest, who ironically, in many ways, since he is no longer the Premier of Quebec, and there is now a woman who is Premier of Quebec, has more time to devote to some of the issues that he was passionate about as Premier. And you will remember that as he was Premier of Quebec, that he was committed to ensuring that all public boards and agencies were represented 50% by women. And he was able to achieve that goal in a very short time. So there are many people in our country who are leaders who believe in the strength of women, in giving us as women the opportunity to lead and ensuring that we have the equality of opportunity. You know, we are lucky in Alberta and in Canada to live in the aftermath of the triumph of the famous five. But you know, sometimes when we get up on these stages and we talk about our successes, we don't acknowledge the fact that there are still barriers, that there is still a gap, and that there is still even though many opportunities available to us and more females, as you've mentioned, serving as premier across this country than men, that we still have some distance to cover. 